Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich! Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X2! I was complaining about music, but I uh, guess not anymore. Oh, we have to go over here. Oh, where to go this time? We don't know, Riku. We don't know. Aha! Look! Over there! Aha! Let's hurry! Look! Over there. For such scrawny legs, it sure can run. That's why it can run. Oh, oh, oh! That way! That way! Way over there! All right, good deal. At least there are no random encounters. <laughs> he said right before a random encounter. Nice. I'm not fighting this dumb thing. It would be funny if we got a random encounter with a chocobo in it. The chocobo is downright exhausted. All you have to do is chase it down for an easy capture. Well, probably the real rodeo begins. Good luck. Actually, not. We just have to go over and it gets away. <sighs> There's got to be a better way than this. Well, we won't get anywhere running after him. We need to think of something else. Okay. Obviously, the arrow tells us to go talk to this person. Was that a chocobo? I haven't seen one on the high road in forever. Chocobo's whipping your pants, huh? Maybe you'd like a little help. Please, yes! Roger, leave it to me. I mean, this is a wild animal that's endangered at this point. It's like chasing the last Tasmanian tiger through the brush with a stick and a gun. Even if you don't plan to shoot it, it's me. Finally. All right, we caught it. Hooray! Mission over. That's awesome. Hey, your friend's in hot water. Yuni, come on! Yeah, at least he's gonna, like, warp us back there. I like that the chocobo is following us now. It could easily get away. Oh, I suppose we could save here. And why not? Poor Machina. You can't. Mm, I but don't see why not. Time. Yeah. Where did where did those chocobos come from? We'll try and buy you some time, Lady Yuna. Please hurry. Also, isn't he like airsick 
on my airship? Let's go! I mean, I get that's like his heroic moment or whatever. That this is like his destiny. Is that he's like, oh, I don't know what to do. And then he's like, oh yeah, Chocobo is my thing. Because he was a Chocobo Knight in the last game. But they could have really threaded the narrative a little better, I think. Also, unnecessary timer is unnecessary. Like, wh why? Like, we're gonna go off and do something else? Like, you could literally just make it impossible to leave the area. And I assume that if you, if this timer runs out, I assume you game over. Like, it's not gonna let you, it's not gonna let that girl get eaten. <laughs> like, that's just the way this game is built. We can maybe test it in our second playthrough. I've invested too much in this play session to let this dumb timer run out. Oh wait, didn't I just save? You know what, why not? And we'll just reload the save. It's no big deal. I wish I had my sphere break stuff, I could play some sphere break. So anyway, how's everybody doing? Vertical sandwich, you should be completing the mission! No. No, I shouldn't. I saved the game. It's fine. I hope. I'm not really all that invested in the whole 100% one walkthrough thing. I'm more worried about getting 99% my first walkthrough and not knowing what 1% I missed. Because <laughs> then I'll have to go through everything again. Wow. It's a long minute. Yeah, I don't know, like, in the last couple of videos when I was talking about, like, the music and stuff, I've, I've got some issues with the my MP3 collection and, like, things that I need to take off of there. So, like, I've been getting a lot of, I've been getting, I mainly been getting a lot of Beatles songs where I'm just like, yeah, those can probably go now. Like, there are Beatles songs I will never get tired of, but there are some that I get tired of. Like, like Honey Pie. Like, wild honey pie is fun, but like, honey pie, ugh. Honey pie, do do do. it's just like, come on. Seriously. Okay. Ten seconds left. This took forever to let this run out. Who would ever accidentally let it run out? Interesting. That was not what I was expecting. But can I not? Whatever. Just kill me. There. Everybody attack one another. Oh, I need pain. Like, to attack the other girls. Because otherwise, the Chocobo Eater will probably heal them. I suppose they can attack themselves, probably. Yeah, they can attack themselves. That's really fun. <laughs> Except Riku missed herself. <laughs> Come on. Okay, we got Riku's dead. 
Yuna is dead. Pink can attack or something. There we go. Go ahead. Pushover. So now we'll do it for real. Now that we saw what happens if we don't do it for real. Oh no! Gameplay recording is paused because I entered a cutscene like... What an effective- what an effective solution to stop me. You actually get to see that? Oh, you do! Yeah, you get to see the message telling me I can't record my PlayStation gameplay. Well, that's what- that's what external devices are for. Alright. So now we know if we don't get the Cali, the, the Machina take care of it. We just ruined Clasco's day. He can't be a hero. You can't. I can't skip these cutscenes. I don't think. Yeah. Because I, I think at least watching the ending cutscene counts for percentage. We'll try and buy you some time, Lady Yuna. Please hurry. Now, in case you didn't notice, the Chocobo, the Chocobo Eater uses a lot of magic, so the first thing we're going to want to do with our Psychic Dress Sphere is uh, Brainstorm to silence it. And then we'll Armor Break it as well. We'll probably do a Magic Break on it. And we should be set up for our boss fight. I don't really have time for this, but I will kill you guys. Because it never hurts. It never hurts to get a little more gold, a little more experience, a little more other things. I don't know that I'm ever going to get tired of Riku balancing that ball on her head like a seal. I think that's funny. I, I kind of want to learn to do it now. I've been spending the last couple days uh, getting better at making balloon animals. It was like... Uh, a hobby I used to have years and years and years ago. Well, it was just a thing I decided to see if I could do. And, I mean, people who are really good at it are really good at it, right? I'm not. But I've got a, a handful of things I can just do off the top of my head. Like, I can, I can make you a monkey or a flower. You know, those kinds. And that's all I want, you know? I don't ever plan on making balloon animals on a street corner. It, it, it is just kind of a fun thing to be able to do for like, you know, my, my niece's kids and stuff, like, it was one of the things I, I was practicing, so I took all the stuff I was practicing and put it in a garbage bag and gave it to my niece's kids and stuff for Christmas. So they all have all these, like, balloon animal swords and, like, flowers and butterflies and stuff to play with. It's kind of cool. You guys take it from here! So yeah, I mean, largely, we end up with it at the same place. Callie's like up and waving at us. Let's clean up. Yeah, so it's like the same thing. We just get there. This is kitty stuff. Is it? All right. So brainstorm. Oh, right. There you go, we'll do that. Riku can shoot out firefish at it. Hi, my pretty. <laughs> what is that? Uh -huh. I mean, I love the reference. Oh my god, that's so powerful. Can I bio or sleep this thing or something? I'm doing more firefish. Firefish are awesome. That's crazy how good that is. And cheap. Like, that's so overpowered. I probably can't put this thing to sleep either. 
I love that Wizard of Oz reference. It's so crazy. Alright. Well, that was easy. I could get used to this. Whatever works for her. Shall we? Shall we? All right, well, that completes our mission. So she got to ride a chocobo. We got a wall ring. That's two wall rings. And when we come back, uh, we've got just a little bit more stuff to do here. And then we're going to have to go to Jose Temple. We have some promotion stuff to do there. And then it's the moon flow, and that's an exhaustive thing, too. Although it's not as bad as... This is the longest thing we're going to have to do in this chapter. At least until actual plotline stuff. So, when we come back, uh, more of this. Bye, everybody.